Hi everybody, it's Debbie with Basket Case Mama's Fab Finds. I'm gonna try to blow me up a little bit here. And I noticed last time I needed to be over further in this direction because it was cutting it off from the video. So we'll see if it's better this time. So, hi everybody. <laughs> um, to, I, it is late and I'm trying to get this in so I don't have to do it again later. But anyway, we're doing tonight the Department 56 Christmas Ornaments. And um, we're just gonna jump right in and start with this one. So this is Department 56 Crinkles by Patience Brewer, Brewster. And you are gonna see this name, Patience, Patience Brewster, over and over and over and over, sorry about that, and over again. Um, so definitely, <laughs> Um, keep, a, keep an eye out for anything by her. This does have the crinkles tag um, in Department 56. Um, and this is a Flying Heart Fairy ornament. And it sold for almost $50. And this is the low end of the ones we're going to show you tonight. So they go all, up, all the way up to almost $500. So this one is a mercury glass striped tabby cat goldfish see the little goldfish at the top christmas tree ornament and it sold for fifty dollars and these are all sold in the last 90 days um, this is also a crinkles by Pace, patience brewster um, and this is an armadillo in pajamas with angel wings apparently um, and this is new in the box um, but it is $59.99 was what it sold for. The next one up, and this is really pretty, is a um, used but in the box um, large moon ornament cobalt blue mercury glass. And it's 12 inches, so it's pretty good size. And it sold for $58. This next one, and you're noticing, of course, that this is, again, Patience Brewster, and it is an 11 inch tall ballet cat. Um, it is also a crinkles line, and you can sort of see um, with the crinkles line, they have very distinctive features the long legs, um, kind of, you know, a cat doing ballet. It's kind of funny. And, and um, this also has the um, box with it, there is some light wear. Um, there's a little scuff in the paint, and a red yarn is tied to it. Let me see what it says. Um, so, yeah, it has a little things going on, but it's still sold for $64.95. This one is another Patience Brewster. It's from 2003. It's a princess, and it's crinkles. And check this face out. You see what I'm talking about? actual princess of some place grand. Um, so you see it's got feathers, um, something about being a royal daughter on it. It's all painted. That gives you an idea of like all the things that go on with these kind of ornaments. And they're usually brightly colored. This is a little muted, but still sold for $66, a best offer of $66.60 on the $74 was what she had it listed for. Now this next one is not Patience Brewster, but this is another artist, and this is the artist that I collect, and if I knew the name, I would love to tell you it, but I don't off the top of my head. Um, it's in good condition. There's a little bit of paint missing on the back of the hat, but notice all the bright colors. I actually have the Nutcracker Sweet ones of this. Oh, and I have... I think Red Riding Hood of the Storybook series. This is the 12 Days of Christmas series. And this is obviously 10 Pipers Piping. It sold for a best offer on $69.99. And I did go into Tarapeak and look. And the offer they accepted was $56.99. So that's what it sold for. And that also, all these I do believe sold with shipping, additional shipping. Um, the shipping wasn't free on these. Um, department, this is also a Crinkles by Patience Brewster, and it's <coughs> a dancing, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, and I need more to 
your drink, but um, a dancing fish ornament. As you see, the fish has legs and ballet slippers and arms. It's very strange, but it's six, sold for $69. The funny thing about these, you'll notice the stranger they are, the more they sell for. So if you see something very strange and you think it might be a Department 56 Patients Brewster, chances are, look it up. It's going to be worth something. For example, this is, a, again, Patients Brewster, Department 56. It's a 24-inch ornament, so it's big. We're talking, it's big. Whoops. Yeah, it's pretty big. Okay. Um, it is considered an ornament, but it could be just a decoration. Um, it does come with a box. It is used, and they sold it for $75. And as you can see, it's got Christmas trees for its little points on its back. It's got furry, it's got high heel shoes on and furry socks or stockings. It is kind of bizarre. And that is typical Patience Brewster um, design. Bizarre. As is this. This is a rare Department 56 Patience Brewster, Brewster Crickles dog ornament. It is a point sittier, point setter. Um, so it's got the dog, it's got the angel wings, it's got the little bird on it. It sold for a best offer on $80 and she took $68, um, or he took $68 as an offer um, on that item. This is a very large jumbo ball ornament. It is hard to find. So again, um, this is not standard size ornament. Um, the box is here. It's from the 12 Days of Christmas glass ball ornament. It says it's jumbo. Um, and it shows you a couple pictures of it. I guess it's the Three Kings, so it's all around the ball. Um, and it sold for $75. Now, this is a Department 6 Crinkles Patience Brewster Reindeer. This is Dasher. If you see any of these reindeer, they are all worth about the same amount of money as this one is, which it sold for $79.99. So, and you'll see it. This is Dasher. He's got a hat on. He's got around his neck. It's very pretty. He's a little sparkly. These are super cute. Um, so yeah, if you see them, any of the reindeer, there's a whole set of them, um, are worth about 80 bucks each. This is a man in the moon winking. He's frosted white mercury glass. He's supposed, he's rare, but there are several have sold, so he's not real rare. Um, he sold for almost $90. The next one is a Grinch ornament. Um, you noticed in the houses there were some Grinch stuff. This is also Grinch. Um, and this is the doctor's, this is um, Grinch's dog and it is in the box and it is brand new and it sold, and um, you can see, there he is. It's pretty cute, right? Um, and he sold for $94.88. This is another in the box, but it is a used ornament. It's a Department 56 12 Days of Christmas ornament. This is six geese laying. Can you see? There you go. You can see the little geese and the little baby. Um, if you know Department 56, you know snow babies. And this one sold for $114.74. I just can't believe that any of the snow babies sold for that much. So they're crazy. I have like four upstairs. I just may have to look at them, huh? Um, this is a new, in the box, 2014 Department 56, the Grinch and the Last Can of Hoo Hash ornament. It is retired, and it sold for $237.49. Let me see if we can see it a little better. There he is. He's got his can of Hoo Hash. There we go. So... Again, this is called an ornament, but I actually don't see anywhere where it hooks on to anything. So, ornament, it says it's an ornament, so I put it in this list. It could be part of the, the um, house 
the village is, but it's still sold for $237.49. So if you see Grinch Department 56, pick it up. And this is the last one. This is Department 56, and this is the Grinch Village Whoville ornament. And this is actually an ornament. It is used and it's sold for $430. Again, if you see Grinch, pick it up. So there you can see, it's like a little house um, with a little ball on it. And it's the ornament shop. And I do think that it says ornament um, in it, but I do think it's part of the village and not actually a Christmas ornament that you hang on a tree, but it came up when I was doing the ornaments. So it's included in here, but still $430 if you see it. So keep an eye out for the Grinch stuff. Um, even the ornaments are worth, as you saw, over $100. So that was um, the highest one on the ornaments for Department 56. I'm going to be doing a much higher end Christmas ornament um, one in a few days. Um, I did the research already. See, I have it all written down. Um, I just got to go pick them all up and get them going. And then um, I'm going to be working on a couple other ones for Halloween stuff and things like that. So I'm going to be doing a few of these videos as we go along. So I hope you found this interesting. I hope you found it helpful. I'm sorry if I talked fast because I'm tired and I need to go to bed now. <laughs> but it was great hanging out with you for a few minutes this evening. I will try to get some more of these up. And I thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, the little notification bell if you want to know next time I'm posting a video. Um, and I am trying to get a little more diligent about doing this. But um, life is busy. Life is busy. And um, if you're if you're doing reselling, you know, life is busy. It's um, kids are out of school. My kid is doesn't even live home. My kids don't live home anymore. So, um, so, but the kids are out of school. So, um, I still, she's out of school. So she works and, um, I hang out with her. I see my son. He's my preacher actually. So I usually see him on, um, Sundays, if not in between. So, um, you know, but if you have little ones, they're home and you have to entertain them. So if you're trying to do both, God love you. Um, I do know how hard it is to, um, juggle your kids and juggle um, a business at home and juggle life around, you know, everything. So um, I am working on getting things put together. I'm working on my other business. I'm working on getting my house organized from this particular business um, and getting things listed. And, um, you know, I have a lot to do. But I did get some organiza organization stuff done yesterday. Um, I got some totes and I started reorganizing some inventory. So it's coming along and I'm very happy to record that. So yay. Um, and I'm constantly listing. So I just hope you enjoyed all this. I know you all are busy too. Have a great night. Have a great weekend and um, God bless and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.